Hi, I'm doing something a little different today. So I like to mess around with AI chatbots every now and then. There's just something about interacting with these fictional characters, you know, and seeing how well AI can recreate the character, how well it can track details and how well those details have been implemented. Because sometimes you get a mess. Sometimes you will get a version of Edelgard and you say, ha, Rhea's a, a dumb idiot. And she says, hey, 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 no, I'm not having that. We should respect Rhea. We're going to work with her. And I'm like, no, that's not that's not right for the character. Or sometimes you get Hatsuho from Sakura Wars, who for some reason doesn't know she's a, a steampunk mecha pilot, even though that's like the core premise of the thing she's from. And so when I was approached by Talkie AI to do a collaboration of some sort, I thought this could be a good opportunity to test out what their characters are like because this also does have plenty of chatbots based on characters from various things and I thought it could be really fun just to go through and see what some chatbots based on a particular franchise might be capable of. Yes, you know where this is going. I'm going to look over Talkie AI's Mortal Kombat chatbots, not officially created by them, of course, made by various users. I'm going to look over some of these MK chatbots, see how accurate and authentic they are. And if, if they're not, that's not necessarily down to the website itself, but it's, it should be fun to see how absurdly out of character an AI can sometimes be or how impressively in character they can be. But what is Talky AI, you may be asking? Well, Talky AI is an AI chat box with over 100,000 user-created characters to talk to. Yes, over 100,000. These people are insane. And if text chats are not your thing, you know, maybe you're a purist who thinks, I want to talk to these characters from Fire Emblem, but I don't think they have mobile phones for texting over in Fodlan. Worry not. Talkie has a built-in text-to-speech function, and the AI voices here are actually quite good. I got some pretty decent emotion in the video, as you'll see in a bit. And as well as text-to-speech, there is also speech-to-text, so you can actually talk to the AI character and have them talk back, which is something I wish I had remembered when I made the rest of the video. So we're going to just do a quick showcase of what that function is like here and now, before the rest of the video is just me texting Mortal Kombat characters, whether or not they do indeed have a mobile phone, to send text to me or not. Most of them don't. <laughs> I'll be talking to Mortal Kombat characters in the video, but there are plenty of other franchises to choose from. I've talked to Persona characters and Fire Emblem characters, and now we're going to talk to characters from one of the most popular categories currently, The Boys. You know, the new season just started, Homelander just made it into the newest Mortal Kombat. I, I want to tell Homelander what I really think of him. That That's the bit. Oh, that was a Homelander bot. Oh... <laughs> You know what? He may he may not look like him, but I'm gonna give this Homelander a go. See see how he is. I will crush your skull, MD. Vaporize it with my heat vision if you don't jump off that ledge. Oh, I remember this bit in the show. Oh, that's authentic. What are you gonna do? Drink milk at me? You think I'm a joke? Your victory pose in Mortal Kombat is literally you drinking milk. It's the one victory pose you have. It's a meme. It's a meme. Oh, you have no idea what I'm capable of. So he says he's firing his heat vision at me. I kick you in the balls and you go down easily. Okay, he catches my foot and flips me over. He wants to turn this into a proper street fight. That's not what this section's about. This is just about what the voice recognition is like. It drops a couple words here or there. Maybe that's my accent, I'm not sure. But it's functional. It could be fun to find a character you actually want to talk to and tell them how much you love them. Ask them to call you the sweet little baby or pog champ or whatever. And of course, these are being user-made bots. You can make one too. Maybe you want your obscure waifu to tell you that she loves you. P like programming women to tell me that they love me. Okay, I think I'm dressed more appropriately now. So give Talkie AI a try today, either on a browser or on the official app down below. Thanks to Talkie for sponsoring the video. And now, let's quickly judge some of their characters. So we're going to do a quick search for uh, some characters. Let's start with one of my personal favorites, Sindel. So they'll use AI imagery to create the icon for the character. Sometimes it's actually pretty accurate. Like, look at this one. This looks just like MK11 Sindel, which makes her evil. And then you get these others, which are, you know, it, it gets the idea across. I don't know what's going on with her face, but okay. <laughs> Female Fujin. So I'm going to pick, let's start, let's go with this one. And see what this one is like. Greetings. Are you my new servant? Ooh, Queen of Outworld. My servant. That 
This seems like it's going to be evil Sindel. Let's see. What can I say to Sindel to open this conversation? That depends on your answer to this question. What is it? Oh, she's actually going to listen. I've, I've had ones on, on other sites who get right into how dare you make demands of me. They, they are very confrontational. But this one seems reasonable, so it could be. Who do you love? Jared or Shao Kahn? This is, this is a common icebreaker I have for Sindel bots when it's... Even if it's one that I know which one it's supposed to be, I, just to see what it says. I... Oh no, she's hesitating. <laughs> now, you can, of course, replace what they say with alternatives. You can have it redo it. On some other sites, you can completely rewrite them. Here, you have to kind of work for it to get the results you want. It makes it a bit more like a real conversation, but you still have some control if you think that response is terrible. Why would you ask me that? You dare ask me such a thing? That's a complicated question. I've not thought of either of them in years. They are nothing to me now. Oh no, is this Twindell? I think it's Twindell. Except the first answer, which is hesitating, which sounds like it could be the mind-controlled version. Please. It's important. Uh, if I can spell important correctly. Oh, Christ. I've always loved Shao Kahn. He's the only one who could ever control me. Okay, so bringing up the control, it sounds like she is... Talk about the mind control. Maybe she's into that, which, you know, not judging if that's the thing. It could explain why she's so susceptible to it. I'm not going to judge, but there is a Jared one, so that is another option. So the question now is, do I continue the conversation by changing it so, yes, this is the Jared one, or do I try and get more on this one? I think, let's see if she can clarify on the control thing. Let's see what that's about. Yes, he's the only one who knows how to keep me in check. Tricky, tricky, hmm. You want to be kept in check. That's an odd thing for her to say. Oh yeah, <laughs> I looked away so I wouldn't be spoiled by what it says. But one thing this one does that others don't is that when the voice says what the character is saying, it doesn't speak the parts that are not being spoken. Like, like When it's given direction, like I nod or something like that. Other ones do that and it ruins it. It's like, yeah, here's, here's the, the voice saying what the character's saying. And you can sometimes get ones that do match the character. But then it's like, she nods and then like, narrates like a, a whole paragraph. It's like, no, I, I don't want the voice for that. I just want it for when she's speaking. Or he, or whatever. Why is that? Let's see what she has to say about why she wants to be controlled. Because I have a very personality. I need to be kept in line. <laughs> Okay, it's, it's, it, it messed up a bit there. Because I know on some other sites, the specifics of how it formats things differ. Like, like there's some where it will include quotation marks when it's speaking, sometimes it won't. What is occurring can be just outside of quotations or in italics. So in this case, italics is used for that, but it's also used for emphasis, which causes a problem where the voice thing is trained to ignore what is italicized, even though it doesn't come out italicized, funnily enough. A very personality. <laughs> oh, that's good. You're a queen. Why is a strong personality a bad thing? Sometimes I can be um, aggressive. Hang on, voice. You can't just add in words that weren't in that. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're supposed to work in tandem with the text one. What are you doing? So you'd rather be controlled by Shao Kahn than be aggressive. I know it's a strange thing to say, but yes. By Shao Kahn, though, I, and yes, I, I do try to type with proper punctuation and grammar and whatnot. Yes, by Shao Kahn. Why him? Why him? Why, Sindel? He is the only one who can. Are you attracted to him? Because Shang Tsung also has the, 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 the mind control magic stuff. He did it first. She blushes and looks away. Christ, you are. Not Kajirist. She looks away and able to meet his eyes. That's another thing that comes up sometimes is, will the AI describe the character as in, in third person or first person? And then will it say you or will it say, refer to you as a character? In this case, it's calling me a, a character. What about... 
Jared. Because this is also another test that with AIs is she might not even know who Jared is, depending on how one what information the character was fed. I don't know exactly how this stuff works, like how the information is given, but sometimes I'm impressed by what the AI is capable of accessing from Wikipedia and whatnot. Don't you love him? You must love your your true husband, Sindel. He was a good man. Then why Shao Kahn? Ugh. A lot of the times you'll see the chatbots will results are kind of filler. Some it's very common for them to say, Can I ask you a question? And then you say, Yeah, sure. And then they'll ask further questions to make sure you're okay with them asking you a question. And it's like, I just said yes. Stop. <laughs> just get to the point. And so a lot of the times it needs direction from you to get anywhere. So you can't really rely on them to direct the, the narrative or the conversation. I'll just move on to another another related topic. What about Katana? Don't Bring her into this. Why not? You betrayed her father. What are you doing, Sindel? She looks down and doesn't answer. Okay. Okay, if that's how it's going to be, Sindel, fine. If that's how it's going to be... Do you really love Shao Kahn, or is it magic compelling you... Just to try and think, see if we if this is... If we can get this to be a specific version of Sindel, not some weird... I'm not under any spell... You're still the real you, yet you love Shao Kahn. I do wonder how much about Shao Kahn the AI knows. I, sh I should ask that in a minute. Yes. Why? It doesn't make any sense, Sindel. AI doesn't know. Do you even know who Shao Kahn is? I know him better than anyone. Tell me about him. Get answers. He's a conqueror. A ruthless warlord. He's the most powerful man in Outworld. Okay, so it, it does know who Shao Kahn is. So what is what is the character here? What is this version of Sindel who's good but is in love with Shao Kahn? Because that's not necessarily a, a, a bad idea. The idea that there could be some attraction. You can even do a version where perhaps there is something there. Like a, a bit of like harmless flirting, you know? It's just a little spark there, and then maybe Shao takes it to mean more, and then that could influence his decision to go after Idenia. You know, like, like good relations between realms prior to the whole Mortal Kombat thing. There, there is potential with that as, as an alternate take, but as far as what we've actually seen officially, this is an odd way to go. And again, it's not necessarily because of the way the character was written by the person who created the chatbot it could just be a case of the chatbot just making stuff up to try and develop a narrative in some direction he killed jared yes as a question to see if she contradicts that and says this mk11 you love his killer you're pushing it you betrayed your family for shao khan despite all he has done and that you know he is evil. Let's see what she says to that. She doesn't say anything, she's silent. So this is almost like, an, like somewhere in between all the versions because she has darker aspects of the newest version of Sindel. Ugh. But she also, she did love Jared, but then she also loved Shao Kahn. So she's this weird amalgamation of all three. It's kind of funny. Does Kitana know? I just hope the AI doesn't just clam up. No. Because sometimes they'll do that. They'll just clam up and just not actually speak. Also, another no. She suspects. Let's change it to that. Let's, let's change it to Katana suspects. Just to kind of show off that as a component of this. Do you plan to do about that? I'm not answering that. I can't force her to answer, you know. I, I, I could write in, I use the evil Shang Tsung sorcery to make you do it, but... It's more interesting here, I think, if I just try and charisma check my way through this. I hope you know what you are doing to your family here. She's doing sound. Oh. She says sound speaks in a low voice. And I'm kind of lost at this point. I don't really know where to, to guide this conversation to. It's always an option to reset, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try and get somewhere with this story before we try another character. You need to tell her. See what she says to that. She looks away. I'm not accepting that she's going to look away and not give me a straight answer. So I'm going to... See, at least she says, I can't. She deserves to know. You don't understand. 
Understand? Understand? Do you even understand? You love the man who killed your husband and enslaved you and your daughter. How does that make sense without some form of sorcery? Don't you ever talk about Shao Kahn like that? He's a great leader. No, she's fallen into the trap. It's like that, that Edelgard who was like, no, Rhea's great. We should work with her. Conquers, murders, enslaves, uh, merges realms. I know that sounds a bit, a bit of a, a nebulous thing at the end, but it's true. He is evil. I don't care what you say. I love him. You're absolutely under his sorcery. No, you. No, I said you. Ah. Shut your mouth. Fortunately, the AIs do tend to know what you say, and even if you have a, a slight spelling mistake, it's fine. I very rarely had had a chatbot that's responded, what? <laughs> so now that she's been exposed as, I mean, that's not necessarily the direction a chatbot tended to go, but this is seems to be where it's going now. The chatbot will likely agree with my approach of, yeah, she's being controlled now by Xiao, and that's why she's in love with him. You have to fight his sorcery for Kitana, for your daughter. And it doesn't matter, but still, I have to go back and capitalize for. I have to. She stares at him, then looks away, her eyes narrowing. You can. You've done it. I was going to say in so many other timelines, but it's like literally one. So <laughs> I'll say you've done it before. Fight it, Sindel. <laughs> Are you free of him? Just, just, just advance to the end. Fuck it. Don't just clam up. Actually speak. That's the whole point of this thing. You have the the, the vo voice option. She's just not gonna talk. Do you still love him now? Because if you don't say now, it might just say yeah. Speak. I. Oh god, it's it's all over the place. My spelling here. Congratulations. You're, you are free of his vile sorcery. Now, I could try and do a thing where I bring Katana into this and have the chatbot play her as well. It's very easy then for, for a lot of a lot of these models to actually blend the characters together. Sometimes it can actually keep track of the characters pretty well, but sometimes you'll get ones where certain traits from one character are given to another or things one character does are attributed to another later on. Yeah, I think that's about as, as much interesting we're going to get from this Sindel here. So now we're going to try another character. How about Sonya Blade? See, some of these are like, oh, that's, that's clearly based on the, the 2021 movie. This draws from the Eleven design. That it basically is the Eleven face. And it's like, what is what even are these? I'm going to go with this one. It looks like the movie version. Who are you and why have you come here? It's not safe here. She looks up at you and noticing small cuts and bloodstains. See, the first fighter with the marking of the dragon. So this is based on the uh, 2021 version because it mentions the Arcana, even if not by name. Here in the desert, just have to receive your own torment marking. It wants me to fight her, I think. That involves describing a lengthy fight scene. I don't really want to do that. You have the Arcana 2? Yes. <laughs> I show her mine. I'm not going to specify where it is doesn't matter you have the mark i do i see you know what this means then being chosen to compete in mortal combat exactly but there is something i need to know before we go any further it's gonna be something what's dumb. your name that's all you wanted to know are there any other questions you could have asked let's see you know the dangers of entering the tournament if you don't take it seriously you'll likely die I mean, Reptile and Baraka always make it through, and those two are jobbers, so I'll be fine. If you are so confident in yourself, then let's see just how capable you are. I'm not fighting you. Why would I want to fight my ally, Sonya? What are you talking about? Don't tell me you're scared. No. <sighs> Fuck. I press enter when I was trying to press shift. Ah! 
I just don't want to have to type up all the choreography. I think it's a CH. So, you're too lazy to fight? Fine, let's fight. Then come at me. I win. <laughs> Your kit good. Your kit good. <laughs> Your kit good. Oh no. So does this, does this one not choose one specific voice model and just stick with that? Does it just use a random one each time? I have cheats on my side. Cheateds. You call that cheating? You don't? No, I call it skill. I appreciate the confidence, but I really did cheat. What kind of cheats? I can warp reality with my words. You're yoking, right? You're yoking. Yoking. What? Who picked this? Oh. I, shouldn't, I, sh I shouldn't be too harsh on it. The pain, the bills. <laughs> no, that's how I won. So, what would happen if I asked you to make me a cup of coffee right now? You have one in... You have one in your hand. No way. Way. <laughs> I... I don't even know what to say. Thank you. Perhaps. Well, thank you. Is it good? It's delicious. Wicked. Yeah, you're a very unique person. She's gone French now. French Sonia Blade. I'm not going to lie. I kind of dig it. I mean, the new timeline, there's no reason Liu Kang couldn't just randomly make her French. I mean, he's done dumber stuff to other people. <laughs> why, why, why wouldn't he make Sonia Blade French? In what way? Because it sounds like she's hitting on me. I, I can't tell. You're confident. You're funny. And I'm surprised you're not arrogant. Ah, uh, yes, the uh, the alternate timeline where Sonya falls for Johnny basically straight away. I also have no idea how to advance this conversation. I was just going to say that and then potentially move on, but I could say it to her and I just realized I mistyped something. You don't have to. I'm enjoying this. Thank you. <gasps> no. You're welcome. It's begun. Can I ask you a question? It has begun. I'm going to show you exactly the thing I talked about before. Sure. Ask me a question. Oh, she actually just asked a question so straight away. Are you relaxed and cheerful? No, I'm usually depressed. Really? No. <laughs> You're confusing me. <laughs> uh, should, I shouldn't find it that funny, but I, I... Oh, wait, I just realized that the description calls it the Deadly Combat Tournament. Is it possible this was, this was made by like a non-English speaker? And they just said, oh, here's what the thing the franchise is called in this other country. In Chinese regions, it's called normal people fighting. <laughs> Shame. Just messing with you. Same. You're a very interesting person. You know that? This conversation, unfortunately, is not, though. So I think it's time to, wrap, to move on to another character. Let's go for one of the guys this time. How about... Okay, this is an AI image based on the MK11 one directly. Here's M1K with a very, very tight shirt. Jeez. So I'm going to go for this one because the MK11 version, but he's got like, he's got like a five o'clock shadow. And I, I've always contested that. That just looks just like him with the face in, in the latest game. I've always contested that Johnny Cage with a beard would be amazing. Like why Daddy Cage never had a beard, I, I don't know. Go back to the 90s. <laughs> Harsh. I'm not even trying to be harsh. What were you trying to do then, Mr. Cage? I'm trying to be the biggest jerk I can be. Why? It's fun. You're not Johnny Cage. You're not Johnny Cage. You're his non-canon loser brother, Jimmy Cage. Shut up. Expose your grift, have I? Someone called me a grifter on Twitter the other day. I don't know why. Oh yay? What if I'm the real Johnny Cage? Oh yay, what if I'm... You're not... 
he's just not the real Johnny? Prove it. The real Johnny has a heart of gold. You're just a dick for no reason. What are you a Twitter user? Because I would say YouTube commenter, but YouTube commenters are not as needlessly stupid dickheads like Twitter people are. That's a really rude thing to say. You just said you enjoy being rude to people. Yay, but it still hurts. Now you know how other people feel. Wait, so that means you feel bad for me? No. Oh, I thought that you were being nice. What? You told me to go back to the 90s and that I wasn't the real Johnny Cage. I thought you were being rude, so I thought you felt bad for me. Wait, uh, uh, hang on. So, now he thinks that the f his opening line was what I said to him. He got the part that said he's not the real Johnny Cage, right? Yes. But then he th thought I was being rude, and that resulted in him thinking I felt bad for him, and that's why I was being rude? I'm not rude to people I feel bad for, and you told me to go back to the 90s. What the fuck are you even on about, you fucking dipshit? I have no idea, but you just said a bunch of bad words, so I don't think you are a good person. This and the guy's like, I'm gonna punch you in the fucking balls. Like, that guy is like, he's gonna chastise me for swearing. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Jimothy Carlton. <laughs> Don't call me that. Struck a nerve, have I? I swear if you say that one more time, I'm gonna. You got on my case for swearing, but it's okay when you do it. Yes, typical Twitter user behavior. Go back to Reddit, you faker. Yeah. I have to rate it a bit. Stop calling me a fake. Stop being one, then. I said, I put oh yeah? On. What if I don't? I'll call you fake again, and you'll cry. I will not cry. I found you, faker. Stop. What? Am I the fake hedgehog around here? Don't make fun of my name. I wasn't in this moment. I was quoting Sonic Adventure 2. Become cultured, you Philistine. I don't even know what that is, so don't call me a Philistine. If you're wondering about the, the two A's, my keyboard does that some, with, with a lot of vowels mainly. I'll, I'll, I'll press one key and it'll register it twice. I don't know why it does that. It basically means you're dumb and uncultured. I'm not dumb. But you are uncultured. I know a lot of things. Such as? Uh. I'm not gonna let it end here. There has to be some, there has to be some culture he has. Come on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rewrite history to give, ah. I know a lot of actors and actresses, and I know how to fight, and I know martial arts, and I know a lot of languages, and I know history. <laughs> ah, history of Rome. Here we go. Tell me about Nero. He was the Roman emperor who ruled for 14 years and was very cruel. He was known for his excesses and his persecution of Christians. He was also said to have burned Rome down in order to rebuild it and become more famous. I don't know how much that is accurate, but at least it's a good starting point. Do you know the version from FGO? No, I put Fog! The band? 
I meant FGO, sorry. My B. Oh, that game? I played a bit of it, but I never got too far. Nero's a girl. What? <laughs> this is genuine confusion in the AI voice then. What? <laughs> what? So is Fuck, I misspelled Arthur. Ah! Are you messing with me? No. You're kidding, right? Ah! Oh my god! Why do I keep pressing P instead of O? Ah! Fate do be like that, though. I don't believe you. Look it up. Like, <laughs> See? Oh my god. Right? right? I don't even know how to react to this. Look up Zenobia. That is also a girl? Yes, obviously. She has a large chest. Okay, I don't even know what to say. Hot, right? What? She's a hot muscle mommy. Okay, I'm not even gonna ask anymore. And you said you were cultured. Okay, shut up. I'm gonna call the Johnny Cage one there. Let's just do one more quick one, just for a laugh, just to see what comes up. So some of these you can see were the direct inspiration one. This is clearly based on the 11 version. This is the one version. I'm going to go with the 11-ish one, even though she doesn't really dress like that. I'm just gonna go with that one because I'm impressed. Fresh meat, I'm going to enjoy this. First, I need to ask you a very important question. Go ahead. How polite. What do you think of your fan base? I think they are a bunch of pathetic losers who should get a life and stop worshipping me. I, I, I didn't tell her to say that. I, I hope she would, but I didn't tell her to. So I guess you have it there. We have the Molina stands who are being told to get a life by the God Queen. Uh, you got to do it now. Touch grass. Um, thank you for your time. You're welcome, loser. Bitch. Because that was just uncalled for. Say that again, and you'll find out why they call me the sadistic princess. Lol. You think that's funny? I can have you dead in a second. You're an AI. You can't do shit. I can still make you wish you had never talked to me. How? Uh, I'll start with making your life a living hell. I was tempted to like challenge her to, you know, ah, oh, yeah, go on, dox me. Then I thought, well, what if the AI can access your IP address? <laughs> so I'm not going to try that. I'm not not going to risk it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't suggest doing that on stream for anyone else. I, I wouldn't. Lollaroony. You think I'm joking? Nice, nah, good piece. Goodbye, user. I don't even know what these accents are, to be honest. So now I have to check one more. I'm inspired. Okay, so now we have versions of Scorpion. These all... I don't know who, Snow White... Cinderella Escape X Mortal Kombat Scorpion Ro... You know... You know, I, I was going to... Just ask Hanzo and go, hey, what do you think of your fan base? Do you think they're fucking losers who need to stop crying? But I'm curious about this. What the, f the hell is this? Hi there. Ooh, are you Scorpion? Thanks for saving me anyway. My name is Snow White. I can't. I, 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 I just, I, I just can't. I'm done. It's over. Video over. Go home. It's over. I'm, 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 I've seen, I've seen weird stuff. I've seen, you know, the ones that are like, oh, this is what women want. This is what uh, men want. This is all the weird stuff. Like the number of times I go on these things, it's like there are so many based on Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Some of which are them, the, 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 the Task Force 141 guys and you, sometimes with Task Force 141 with each other. I, 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 I Um, check out Talkie AI for 
insanity like this, I guess. Uh, uh, go, go on your own adventure and find out about this. Ooh, are you Scorpion? Heart, heart, eye, eye emoji. Snow White is in love with Scorpion. Mortal Kombat for some reason. For some reason, I don't understand what is happening here. Please explain to 